Alright, I want to elaborate a little more on the difference between global emulators and system emulators in Hyperlaunch HQ. The difference, the difference is a global emulator means that it can be used in every single one of these systems, alright? As long as your system name is supported in the module for that emulator. All right, so let me let me dive into that a little more. So when you have global selected in your emulators tab, you, you're going to see all these different emulators. That's because all of these are defined in your global emulators dot ini file. All right, anything you define here, when you go to one of these to or to any of the systems and you click the little search bar you'll see global handy global mendefen global all right if you if you have a system selected under the emulators tab and you define an emulator in here it's it's only going to be available to this one system in in atari lynx for this example all right so you never really want to define an emulator in one of these systems. You always want to make sure you have global specified. All right. Um, I know I know some people are getting confused with this. There might not be enough documentation on it, so hopefully we can update that eventually. Um, but that's that's the reason why you don't want to have the selected and define an emulator in here all right that that would be a bad move um, because let's say let's say you want to set up mess emulator and you have Vectrex selected you set it up in here now you want to use your mess emulator to play oh I don't know ColecoVision so when you have over here and you select this you're not going to see mess here because it needs to be defined under the global selection all right so you see it here because it's a global emulator all right um so what else what else what else i think that is it i also want to add that uh there are some scenarios that you may want to define an emulator when you have one of these systems selected. All right, it might be very, very rare. All right, but you may want to do that eventually, which is the reason why we give you the option. Um, I'm not sure of any specific scenarios right now that this is required, but I, I try and get close to an example. So let's say you have a global emulator defined here, okay? Uh, and you want to run another one. Let's say you have, uh, let's find one. Let's say you have BSNES and you want to run two different BSNES emulators. And you might have two different modules, something really specific and you only want that to be available for Super Nintendo you don't want it to be an option for any of the other systems that BSNES might support um, you can define that in here All right so it's it's a as you can see it's a really specific scenario we wanted to make sure we pretty much supported everything you can think of which is the reason why you have the option to define in, in emulator specific to one system um, so if you can think of anything I don't know probably might know some some scenarios um, yeah just let me let me know because I'm kinda curious where where something like this might be defined you know it, it's it for whatever reason it could be um, some settings that you need specific for an emulator and you need to have two different emulators for it and you, you don't want it on you don't want it as a selectable choice for any of the uh, any of the other systems 
uh, so hopefully that clears up some confusion and kind of makes you see why why you, you'll probably never use this alright 